Bull say, God put you there. God teaching you a lesson. God teaching you a lesson, Boosie. Don't try to stop God lesson. God is you going there for a reason. God put you there. That's why you're in jail. Like you're in jail because you didn't learn the lesson. In May of this year, Torrance Hatch, aka Lil Boosie, was picked up on weapon charges in San Diego. Boosie would take to social media to blatantly spit in the face of law enforcement. Boosie, who has a checkered past, is no stranger to doing time. In 2009, Boosie was sentenced to two years in prison for marijuana possession. In 2010, Boosie was indicted on first-degree murder charges. And East Baton Rouge Parish Grand Jury has indicted Torrance Hatch, otherwise known as Lil Boosie, on first-degree murder charges. Lil Boosie was indicted in the October 21st shooting death of Terry Boyd. In 2011, Boosie was sentenced to eight years for conspiring to bring drugs into prison. Boosie was released from prison in 2014 and put on supervised parole until 2018. On Wednesday, May 14th of this year, while Boosie was in court for weapon charges that were dismissed, he would be picked up by the feds. Boosie would incriminate himself on Matt Hoffa's podcast, admitting that he has homies around to take any charges that he might get caught up on. Boosie pulled off a Lamont Sanford, admitting that it has already happened multiple times. It is alleged that this is why the feds picked him up on Wednesday. In an interview with Vlad TV, prior to being on Hoffa's podcast, Boosie stated that if he was ever dropped again and made bond, that he would sell all of his ish and break camp out of the United States. These statements will definitely be used against Boosie, and I can guarantee you that he will be denied bond. Boosie took to Twitter to apologize to his kids and has already started putting his whips up for sale.